everyone and welcome back to my channel it's joe here i hope you're all well and having a wonderful day if you're new here i'm joe i do craft videos i do three a week on monday wednesdays and fridays and then i do a pound land haul every fortnight as well as my charity shop finds because i do like a good look around the charity shops if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you leave a comment i will reply and if you've not subscribed and you want to see more from me then it'd be wonderful if you joined our family and friends if you're returning as always my friends Friends, welcome back thank you for your continued support it really does mean the world to me I tell you every single video because I think you should know so for today's craft I've had this idea for quite a while and if you've seen my other videos I had trouble getting hold of the number of canvases that I wanted from Poundland but I managed to get them and I've been really looking forward to doing this one for my bathroom so I'll take you over to the table and I'll show you how I made them So the first thing I'm going to be using is some of the canvases from Poundland. I am using three of them and I think they're 20 by 25 centimetres. I got rid of the wrapping when I took it off but I'm sure that's the size and what I'm going to do is first I'm going to take a piece of A4 white card. I also get my card from Poundland and we need to measure out a section of card that will fit into the back of the canvas. So I'm just going to take a pen and mark off the section that I need to cut it out. Now I'm going to use the same design for all three canvases. If you're going to do different designs, you'll need to do a piece of card for each canvas. So depending on how many you're doing, will determine how many pieces of card you need to cut. I'm just going to draw the lines where I need to cut my square out of And then I'm just going to use a pair of scissors and cut this out. So after I've cut the card out and it fits nice and neatly in the back, I'm going to start to draw my design on my card. Now that you could get, there's loads of different silhouettes that you could download and print out off the internet or you could use a stencil. I'm just gonna actually draw my pattern on the card. I'm just gonna do one centimeter rectangles at different sizes and leaving a half a centimeter gap in between each square or rectangle that I draw. I'm gonna do this off camera. I'm gonna do it in pen so you can see the pattern that I designed. And yeah, we then can get on to the next section. So this is my design that I came up with. Like I said, I just drew rectangles and squares until I filled up the space. And now for the next part, I'm going to take a Stanley knife or craft knife and I'm gonna now cut out my design. I'm gonna use a ruler to cut the long sections to make sure that they're nice and straight and then the smaller sections I'll just do freehand. So now my template is completely cut out. We're going to use this to draw our pattern on the inside of the canvas. So I'm just going to place it in where I want it to be and then hold it down and retrace out the pattern on the inside. And I'm gonna do this on all three exactly the same.
So now I've drawn my pattern on the inside, I'm going to start to cut this out. So in exactly how I did the template, I'm just going to use a craft knife and freehand I'm going to cut out the sections. like so, that's the first bit. So I'm gonna to continue to do that on the first one and we can have a look what it looks like. So this is the first one done and now I'm gonna do exactly the same on the other two. So all three are now the same. And now I'm going to spray paint these in the black auto paint from Poundland. I'm going to do two coats. I'm going to spray all three black and then they're finished. And I'm going to put them up on my wall. So here they are on the wall, all spray painted black. I'm really happy with how they've turned out. They were exactly what I wanted for this space. They're next to my bathroom mirror and they're above my toilet and the little box that I made last year and I've tried to space them out um, so that they've got the same amount of gap in between each one and then to finish it off I added this little piece of iron work that I bought from a charity shop um, just after Christmas I paid a pound for it at the time I didn't have an idea what I was going to use it for but all I've done is added some greenery and some lily of the valley to the top of it or to the top of the canvas the bottom of the ironwork and just put that in place and then I'm going to add something to either side of this eventually when I get around to doing it but they are next to the ones that I made last year when I first started my YouTube channel and these were brown frames that I spray painted black and then I added toilet rolls and A4 card which I curled to make it look like ironwork and now I'm so happy that I've got my canvases to go next to him. So I might see you tomorrow. I'm going to go for a walk tomorrow depending on the weather. I may pop in Poundland. If I do pop in Poundland, I'll do a Poundland haul. If not, I will see you on Friday. But take care for now and I'll see you then.